everyone! Welcome to Tea Talk with Ayumi. Brewing financial conversations one sip at a time. And for today's video, share ko sa inyo ang top 5 or limang bagay na pinaka-importanteng itanong ninyo sa sarili nyo bago kayo magsimula ng business. So these questions will help you strategize and to make sure na sigurado yung pagpaplano nyo sa pagsimula ng business. Number one or top one, market demand. I-make sure nyo na bago kayo mag-decide what product to sell, i-aralin nyo muna ang market and kung in-demand ba yung product. For example, nakapag-decide na kayo or meron na kayong gustong product may ibenta, siguraduhin yung in-demand siya sa mga tao. Top 2 or number 2? Unique value proposition. So, kailangan nyo ding i-pinpoint or i-figure out what makes your product unique. So, what sets your business apart to other businesses? Kasi sa business guys, sa business world, it's a competition. Um, you may be selling products that others are already selling. So, nasa sa inyo talaga yon kung paano nyo market yung product nyo. And um, at least a feature na madagdag nyo that will make your product unique from the others. So, number three or top three. Financial viability. So, kailangan nyo ng clear understanding sa initial cost, ongoing expenses, and potential revenue. Yung tatlong yon yun ang pinaka-importante. Kasi, syempre, hindi naman kayo makakapag-start ng business kung wala kayong capital. Other than that, you have to make sure na income talaga kayo or kikita kayo sa binibenta nyo, ba? So, kailangan nyo aralin kung magkano yung expenses and how much yung itutubo nyo para magka-income kayo and how much ang inyong magiging total revenue. Top 4 or number 4, target market. So, if nakapili na kayo ng product, of course, deciding on what product to sell, you also need to think kung sino yung target audience nyo. For example, you decided to sell beauty products. So, ang target audience nyo or ang target market nyo is yung mga tao na mahilig sa ganung bagay, mahilig sa beauty, um, sa cosmetics, let's say, or skincare. If you guys are interested naman in selling, like if you decided to sell food, um, I think talaga food mas malaki yung target market kasi everyone needs it. Pero syempre, depende din yun sa food na binibenta nyo. Top 5 or number 5? Adaptability. So this is very important, especially if your business is slowly growing. You have to know how to adapt. Siyempre, um, season season, uh, nag-iiba yung gusto or yung uh, demand ng mga consumers. So you have to be flexible and adapt to the changes. And of course, a business meron din talagang changes or you're getting a lot more customers. So you have to meet their demands. And not only the changes na nangyayari sa business, but also the changes na nangyayari sa market itself. So, as your business evolves, you need to be sure or you need to ask yourself kung kaya nyo bang maging flexible or kaya nyo bang mag-adapt sa mga changes na mangyayari in the future. And those are the things that you have to ask before even starting the business. So, if na figure out nyo yung answers to those questions, then you can go ahead and start your business and keep looking on that question, um, on those questions every time para to remind yourself na before you started the business, ito yung mga pinagplanuhan, ito yung mga um, strategies na linan nyo before you start putting up the business. So, ayun lang, sana nag-enjoy kayo at may natutunan kayo sa video na ito. If you guys want to earn extra, please don't forget to visit www.gameape.cc and become an affiliate. Pumunta lang kayo sa site at mag-reach out sa aming customer support para malaman nyo kung ano yung requirements or ano yung steps para maging affiliate. 
Yun lang. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Gay Made Philippines. Bye!